battery is currently draining right now and it's powering all these boats so we have this smart plug this monitor so this is a typical workstation so it's powering everything you have here the solar spot in the welcome back to the channel we have something exciting for you today i'll be testing the power mister 100 amp hour 12.8 volt lithium ion phosphate batteries the seller was confident enough to provide us this as a review unit this is the part one of the of the video and we'll be doing a capacity test and see if it meets our expectation in the part two we'll be doing a teardown review and we'll be seeing what is inside this battery let's get started let's quickly go over the main specification this battery has a nominal voltage of 12.8 volt and 100 amp hour capacity okay which translates to 1280 watt hour which is perfect for home storage backup this battery features a built-in battery management system for enhanced safety protecting the battery from over voltage under voltage over current short circuit as well as temperature control the battery is lightweight which is about 10.5 kg compared to lead acid battery that weighs 31 kg and it comes with an abs casing which is high p65 rating water proofing the life cycle is rated as 6,000 cycles at 80 percent depth of discharge which translates to about 16 years of daily usage so if you're interested in knowing all the specification i have a link to the data sheet in the description so let's see how this battery performs in a real world scenario we'll be connecting it to a set of which include a pc tv monitor starlink router led lights and a ceiling fan so since the battery is rated in dc we will be using this DC shunt based 200 amp hour column counter. Okay, this column counter is about 99.5% accurate. So, everything you'll be seeing in this test has an accuracy of 99.9%. This will show us the energy we can discharge from this battery as well as how long it runs for. In order to see the efficiency of this inverter here we'll be using the 20 amp smart wi-fi plug to calculate the, the usage from this inverter so we want to know how much energy we are generating on the ac side from the inverter this will also help us to calculate the battery efficiency as well as the inverter efficiency so i have charged this battery up to 100 percent with this dedicated lithium ion phosphate battery charger which is rated for 30 amp hour it also comes packaged from the seller for testing purpose okay so this charger can charge the battery from zero to 100 percent in just four hours this battery also supports fast charging up to 100 amp hour meaning you can fully charge this battery within an hour i've connected the inverter to the battery and i've switched it on here you can see the total wattage being drawn from the batteries from the dc meter i'll be showing you at the end of the test the total power we draw from the ac side so one of the advantage of lithium ion phosphate battery is that they can provide the same dc energy regardless of the load we put on them Okay, so you can see here that if you discharge this battery at 100 amp hour, it will provide a 100 amp hour battery capacity in one hour. And if you discharge it at 5 amps, you can get 100 amp hour in 20 hours. One hour 30 minutes into the test, we have used 18 amp hours from the battery. And the battery voltage is still sitting at 13.1 volt with an average load of 150 watts. 3 hours 30 minutes into the test, we can see here that we have used 
38 amp hour from the battery and our battery voltage is still sitting at 13 volts at average load of 160 watt so five hours into the test we have used 58 amp hour are we going to make this 100 amp hour or not but let's see how it goes so after six hours we have used 70 amp hours from the battery and the battery is still showing a good voltage of 12.9 seven hours later we have used 80 amp hours from this battery which is the recommended depth of discharge however this is not the goal of the video we are going to do a full capacity test after seven hours 30 minutes we have reached the nominal voltage of 12.8 volts and we have used 85 amp hours eight hours into the test we can see here that we have used 92 amp hours and the voltage is still at 12.6 volts interesting eight hours 44 minutes into the test we have reached the full 100 percent capacity the battery voltage is still at 12.4 volts this is a pass for the battery already but there is more let's find out how much more capacity is left in this battery if we continue to discharge nine hours into the test we have discharged 102 amp hour from the battery which is above the rated capacity and see here we still have battery voltage sitting at 12 volts interesting nine hours 22 minutes into the test we have reached the low voltage disconnect on the inverter and the load got disconnected at 11.3 volt and the total capacity used as you can see here is 105 amp hours which is a great and a perfect result for these batteries we managed to take out 1360 watt hour from the dc side and 1090 watt hour from the AC side which results into 80% efficiency from this inverter here is an idea of what this battery setup costs this is 300,000 naira approximately this is 65,000 naira and the charger is 55,000 naira okay so with just 410,000, you can set up a reliable backup solution that will last for years to come. So there you have it. This battery has passed the first stage of this test, which is the capacity test. If you find this video helpful, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell notification icon for future video. Thank you for watching. See you on the teardown video we have discharged 105 amp hour from the battery and we still have the battery sitting at 11.3 volts so we need to shut down this battery this battery needs to go down let's see how far we can push it further okay so i'm connecting a dc load to this battery which include the led bulb and the ceiling fan. I'm connecting it directly to the battery terminal so that we can con continue to discharge the battery because our inverter already shut down. So watch the video to the end to see the final result and when the battery shut down.